lot of good things, some things that we need to improve on, and we will. Uh, but for being this early in our camp uh, with, the, with the new faces and returners that we have in different positions, uh, it was really exciting to see the athleticism. It was exciting to see the commitment to tactics. Uh, timing will improve. Technical execution will improve. But I tell you what, if they can put a performance like that together collectively against each other in the, in the heat that we had today, and that is our first run at our game ops and, and our in-game management, there are a lot of really good indicators as we move forward, and there's, there's a, a very high ceiling of, of potential achievement for this group. Well, I tell you, it's, it's, it's really important. Uh, and so what we've told our players tonight is, you know, as a team, we value possession. And it's important that uh, as they play the game, that they don't give the ball away, that they keep the tempo and possession high, and they make good choices. We also want them to make different choices than they're used to making so they can begin to experiment and figure out what works and what doesn't. But the other piece of that is players separate themselves when they get points, whether they're assists or goals. And so when you put those pieces together, as we go back and look tonight and, and rank our players again, players that kept the ball, kept the tempo and possession high, and players that scored goals and got assists and were dangerous, uh, those are players that will begin to separate themselves in our depth chart. And so when you have new players coming into the system and creating that environment, uh, it, it, the returners will respond and it will be a fantastic uh, competitive environment as we go into TCU in a couple of days.